how to fill in 48 hours during a visit to Charleville in southwest Queensland. It isn't that difficult. We arrived at lunchtime on a Friday on the Westlander train after a five hour trip from Roma. Charleville Railway Station is the town's tourist information centre. It's also home to the Charleville Bilby Experience. Charleville is home to Australia's biggest program to save the Bilby from extinction. You get a chance to see the Bilbies in a nocturnal facility here at the Bilby Experience at the Charleville Railway Station. The highlight is the nocturnal house where you can watch the desert dwelling omnivore marsupials. We got to see Johnny and Ruby and their baby Craig. Next stop is historic Caroni's Hotel, our accommodation for two nights. More about that in another video. We join a two hour guided tour which tells the story of founder Harry Caroni's. There's also access to areas which are normally off limits. The tour ends with a drink in the main bar. We dine that night in the restaurant before an evening stargazing at the Cosmos Centre adjacent to Charleville Airport. The clear sky gives us a chance to use the telescopes for close-up views of stars, planets and the Milky Way. Saturday morning sees a tour of Outback Date Farms. Still in its infancy, the farm is using Charleville's waste water to grow palm trees. There's the chance to hear more about dates and their different varieties, as well as taste the dates as well as date loaf and find out about future plans for the project. We decided to make a trip to Quilpie, two hours drive away, for a pub lunch. Quilpie was the end of the main western rail line, but more about that in another video. We also see artwork telling the town's history and see Quilpie's brick hotel. The original Quilpie hotel was destroyed by fire in 1925. It was rebuilt in 1926 by Jimmy Caronis, the nephew of Charleville publican Harry Caronis. It was Harry's decision to build it in brick to help make it fireproof. Quilpie Airport pays tribute to female aviator Amy Johnson, who flew from England to Australia, the first woman to make the solo flight. Johnson's out-of-date map showed the railway line ended at Charleville. She mistakenly put down at Quilpie Airport where the line ended. Baldy Top provides panoramic views of the Quilpie area. On the way back to Charleville, there's a pit stop at the Foxtrap Roadhouse at Kuladi. The Foxtrap is a motel, service station, shop, pub, restaurant and post office. Once a busy railway town, Kuladi is now one of the smallest towns, if not the smallest in Australia. Arriving back in Charleville, we watch an electrical storm sweep through. Sunday starts with a visit to Charleville Airport. Charleville Airport has attracted some cars and visitors this morning. Why are we all here? For something that's going to happen behind me very shortly. It's the daily release of the weather balloon. At 9.15 every morning, the Bureau of Meteorology automatically releases a weather balloon. It collects data including temperature, wind direction and speed, which is used by the Bureau's forecasters. Nearby is the World War II secret base. During World War II, Charleville was home to over 3,500 US military personnel, more than doubling the population. The secret base explains why. It's still relatively new and is undergoing further development. There's also a tag-along tour of military base relics, but it wasn't available on the day of our visit. Driving south towards Kunnamulla, we stop at a bridge about 26 kilometres from Charleville. This was the site of Australia's largest ever transport explosion. Eight people were injured, but fortunately no one was killed when a truck carrying 50 tonnes of ammonium nitrate crashed and exploded in 2014. The road bridge was destroyed and the nearby rail bridge damaged. While the road bridge has been replaced, the rail bridge was never rebuilt. The twisted wreckage remains at the site, which is now the end of the disused Charleville to Kunnamulla rail line. The Mitchell Highway site is now a tourist attraction, telling the story of the blast, which was felt as far away as Charleville, prompting residents to think there'd been an earthquake. On the drive back to town, we detour to the Charleville Botanic Reserve. 
The 2,000 hectare reserve showcases most of the region's vegetation types. There's a self-guided drive of almost 30 kilometres and while there are information signs dotted around the reserve, it tends to get a bit boring after a short while. Back in Charleville, swing past the town's water tower, painted in 2019 with faces of the youth of this town. Surprisingly, for a town of its size, there are also other tourist attractions, including a museum. If you enjoyed the video, please click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our trips to go.